Hey everyone, it's Ashley, and I'm back with a video about some easy, kind of inexpensive uh, Halloween decorating projects. And, um, you know, we just got a new printer recently, and, um, you know, we were printing out some stuff, and I thought, well, hey, why don't I just make some stuff using um, different things that I printed out? So, um, I'm going to show you guys some different projects, and I'm going to break it up into parts so that it's easier to follow. Um, but just to give you guys an idea, I went to a website called thegraphicsfairy.com. And I'll leave a link in the description box below. But they had a whole bunch of really cute kind of like Halloween-ish, um, you know, free images. You don't have to pay anything for them. You can just print them out. And so I just like picked different ones. There's a spider, you know. Um, I got a bat one. Different things like that. So I figured what I would do is print those out and then do something kind of Halloween and crafty with it. Um, you know, because I really like decorating for different holidays, but I don't want to spend a lot of money. So I found things around the house that don't cost, you know, pretty much anything. And you can make your own decorations. So I'm going to show you what you need for the first thing. So for the first uh, two crafts that I'm going to create, um, I printed out these labels. And this one says Poison Caution. Okay, be right. And then this one is an old school, like, arsenic label. And I just thought they were really cool looking. So I had um, two bottles here, and these ones were from, uh, like, a, I went to Safeway, and I got some health food drinks, and they had really cool looking bottles. So I saved the bottles, and, um, you know, I just washed them out and took the labels off. And this one I'm just going to leave with nothing in it because the bottle's already cool looking. But this one, I'm going to go ahead and um, add some food coloring to it. I have water in here. And then the food coloring you can get for a dollar at the dollar store. Um, I think I'm going to go with green make it look kind of icky and gross and stuff like that. Maybe poisonous, slightly wrong. So the first thing that you want to do is make sure that your bottle is filled with water and then you're just going to add some food coloring. And I'm going to be quite generous with this because I want this to look murky and kind of scary. And then I'm just going to go ahead and shake it up here. And then there you go, you get some creepy looking food coloring drink. You can do whatever color you want, but most people have food coloring in their homes and it's really inexpensive. So I figured that would be just a fun thing you could use, you know, stuff from your home. Um, so I have that one and then this one I'm just going to leave blank. And um, I was going to go ahead and take um, some other supplies. I'll show you what I'm using. I'm just going to use some generic white glue. Most people have that. And an old brush. And what I'm going to do is take the label, I'm going to use a plate, I'm just going to set the label on backwards and I'm going to take some glue and I'm going to brush the glue on the top of the label here. And then I'm just going to attach it to here so it'll be a super super easy project so that way. Um, and then we can just glue that on and we get like a really really inexpensive, I mean it's practically free, you guys probably have all this stuff in your home already. You know, I think most people have some white glue and food coloring. Or, or a bottle or two, you know, if you have a wine bottle, that would work really well too, just anything you have access to. So I went ahead and put some glue on this, and then I'm just going to go ahead and take my bottle, and I'm going to make sure I, you know, center the label on here. And because it's Elmer's glue, it's really easy to move around. So I just went ahead and attached that on there, and just let it dry. And then if you have any spots where it looks like it, um, got a little messy, you can clean that up later, but there's a really creepy, you know, kind of Halloween-ish design. And then I'm just going to do this one too, and I'm going to go ahead and use the arsenic label because I think that's really cool looking. So I'm just going to go ahead and use my brush and throw some of this on the back here. And it doesn't have to be, you know, perfect or precise or anything because you just want it to stick, you know, to the bottle. And this isn't, you know, the kind of the neat thing is I've seen some of these type of things um, in stores and they're a lot more expensive. So this is great because it's just a free kind of project. So let me go ahead and get this one going. Let's put some more glue on the back. It's nice when you use a paintbrush too because it gets distributed a lot more evenly and then you don't have to worry about um, it making a mess or anything. So I've got my wet label here. I'm just going to take this, and I'm going to place this a little bit higher towards the top, I think. And then it looks like, you know, the old school, 1800s style bottles. And if you get any, like, little bubbles, you can smooth them out with your finger as well. So that way, 
and it just makes it, it gives it a really good old fashioned look. If you're not happy with the placement, too, because this one is a little bit lower, so all I have to do is because it's wet, just slide it up just a smidgen. You can slide your bottle label around, and that way it looks nice and creepy. Okay, so there we go on that one. I got that one, and I got that one, and I'm going to come back and show you guys a few more crafts um, using something kind of similar. Okay, so for this project, what I'm going to do is reuse these large candlesticks that I got recently that are on my dining table currently, and I'm just going to amp up this a little bit to make it look a little bit more Halloween. But I also want this to be removable because I don't want, you know, this to have to buy new candles, you know, afterwards. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm using these printouts of little skulls here, and I'm also going to use some book pages. Um, I had some books that I've already read that were, you know, 10 cents, so I'm going to go ahead and, you know, use some of this. And I'm also um, doing some more crafts with this in the future. So, with that, you're also going to need some glue and um, some masking tape. I'm just using the tan one because it won't even show up. So, to make this removable, what I'm going to do is I'm taking the candle and then I'm going to wrap the candle with uh, the outside of this. And because it has kind of like a frayed, torn look, I'm actually going to keep this up to the top here. Um, but as you can see, it leaves a gap. So the first thing that I'm going to do is actually tape a smaller section to this so that it looks more continuous. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. Because it just wouldn't look right with just only part of it done. And because this is almost the exact same color, it's going to blend in really well. And it's removable, which is definitely great because I don't want to have to buy new candles after this. I, I want to just keep using it. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to run the tape along the top here just enough so that I can make sure that the bit sticks to it, you know, for the smaller part. And it's going to be practically invisible because this is like the same color. So let's take this small piece and attach it so that it lines up here. And then I'm going to take that. So we've got like a little seam. And then what I'm going to do is wrap it around the base of the candle, and I'm going to go ahead and tape this. So it actually has more space now, so it can wrap around. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure this is taped here at the bottom, and then I'm going to show you uh, what I'm doing after this. And the nice thing about this is it's basically just a sleeve, so you can change this out um, for you know pretty much anything, and you don't have to worry about ruining your candles. Um, I would also recommend not burning the candles with this on it because this will just be a fire hazard. I wouldn't do it. It's just decorative only. So, you know, if you're going to burn them, then don't do it. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and take a big chunk of tape and tape this seam here so that it's not visible. Okay. And basically, if we want, we can cover this up too. Um, we can always hot, hot glue. Use regular glue. You know, there's a double seam on the back. You can always use regular glue and just glue over that if you want. And then it becomes seamless again. But just to give you the idea of what it looks like once that is going on, is I'm going to take this and um, use my brush and the glue and go ahead and put the glue on the back of this really quick. And that way you get it kind of like a, you know, like a Halloween theme, and this is anatomy drawing that is um, off of the Graphics Fairy website, and I just thought it was really very Halloween-ish, so very spooky. So I just put this on, and I'm just smoothing this out so that it stays there. I tried to make sure to also cut um, around the shape as close as possible so there was no you know, residual white paper there. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one back on, and we can see what it looks like once it's on. Okay. And so there you go. You have a very spooky, you know, kind of interesting looking candle here. And you can see it's got the writing and everything around it. So it makes it look a lot more interesting and expensive. So, and you're not just limited by, um, you know, skulls or anything. You can do something, you know, completely different, like a spider one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get the spider one done, and then I'll show you guys what that looks like. Okay, guys, I just finished the um, spider one, and this one is a little bit more difficult to cut around. Let me go ahead and zoom in here a little bit for you guys. It's a little bit more difficult to cut around, but I think it turned out really cool. 
as you can see. So, I mean, you wouldn't even need a color printer for this one. You could just do black and white, and it turns out really neat. So that's pretty much what they look like. I'm going to show you the skull one as well, so you can see. But there's the skull. Oops. Creepy. Okay. <laughs> so there's the finished set of candlesticks there. And I'm going to see what else I have up my sleeves here. Okay guys, I wanted to show you some different alternative things that you could do aside from the other projects that I showed you. And maybe if you don't have any, you know, large kind of candles on hand, you could use, um, you know, some of the glass candles. I know a lot of people will keep these type in the house as well. What you can do is you can remove the old label and then you can take out, um, print out a new label for it and just go ahead and put that on there and it makes it look a lot creepier. Like here's a couple from that website. And that way, you know, it looks more customized and it has kind of like a Halloween look for it. Um, something else that I wanted to mention that I thought was really fun and easy and super cute is you can take, you know, a bottle of like hand wash, uh, you know, in your kitchen or your bathroom or whatever, and just take the labels off of these. And then you can print out these little tiny adorable labels that they have as well. And this one says wing of bat and web of spider. And you can just glue them on using the same method and it just makes it a little bit more fun, festive. Um, especially if, like if you're having a party or you just like to decorate for holidays, that kind of thing. Um, another one that I um, thought of doing was, you know how you, do, you see like movies with like creepy stuff in them in jars and you're not sure what it is and that type of stuff is, um, so what I did is I took a mason jar and I just have washing soap in this one and then I um, put one on that says I have newt because I thought that was kind of funny and you can put you know, stuff that looks either kind of gross or like powdery, you know, stuff that looks like it could be something odd. Like I took this one, which is just a really huge pickle jar, and then I put one of the older style labels on it, so it looks really creepy, and you know, you can display those as part of your, you know, your holiday stuff, and it'll make people go, oh, what's in there, you know, and it kind of completes that look that you're going for. And the last project that I have uh, for you guys is just a way to like amp up if you give out treats for Halloween. And um, there's a couple ways you can do it. You can, you know, purchase the pre-made bags. Like I got these ones at the dollar store. These are uh, Halloween treats here. And it, if you want to make it just look a little bit more custom, you can create your own label to put on it. And I'll show you guys really quick what I did. And it's so simple. All you do is just take a, an index card and you cut it in like half or a third, just basically whatever size, you know, the piece that you're going to put on this. And this one says web of spider. So all I did is just glue this straight to it punch a little hole in the corner and then take some ribbon and run it straight through and then tie it and then you have yourself a little custom cute looking bag. It looks like you spent more time than you actually did on it. Um, and then also, if you guys, you know, say you want to make it like a really neat custom bag but without looking like you spent a lot of money, just take a, you know, get a sack, a whole bunch of these I think are like a few bucks, um, the brown paper sacks and you know, if you have, you can use a black and white type of in image or whatever. I use a skull and crossbones for this one, and I just glued it straight on. You can put your treats in there. Um, you can doodle on it, that kind of thing. And then you could put your tag, like you did on this one, after you fill it with treats. And it would be, you know, super cute and custom. You don't see people doing stuff like that too much anymore. So I just think it would be something really fun. But um, I think that's it for... Some of the projects that I have for decorating for Halloween that are just, you know, require stuff that you have around the house. And if you have access to a printer, I would definitely, you know, try some of these. They're really fun. It didn't take me very long at all. I did a whole bunch of stuff in like an hour. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And if you like this content, please like and subscribe. And I'd love to know in the comments if you guys have, you know, any other type of tutorials or things you're interested in for the holidays. Maybe I'll do something related to Thanksgiving as well. Um, but I'll see you guys later. Bye!